I'm here with Daniel Masterson, who's a, a, a corporate. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta think in, in English, right? I'm here in the in the community of Plan de Chorcha with Daniel Masterson, who is a, a volunteer for the Peace Corps. He's been here for for over a year uh, in this community and in some surrounding communities, uh, helping the people in in a lot of ways. And one of the ways is promoting uh, safe water. And he's developed here at his own house. Uh, a water collection system that he's going to explain to us because as a mission we're thinking about this as a, as a possible to solu uh, solution to the, to the, the water situation here in, in the district. All right, I guess first of all I will start with uh, the basic water situation here which uh, there's an aqueduct in town but it's very big, very large and, and uh, especially compared to the number of houses it actually serves and as a result it hasn't been man maintained that well and so even with this aqueduct uh, most of the houses still get their water from pozos, which are essentially springs, or in the summertime, they can actually be holes dug in the sand next to a stream. And so that's where people actually dr get their water to drink, to cook, to do just about everything. So Uh, what I'm going to show you is a rainwater collection system, which is something I built on my house um, so that in the rainy season I don't have to get my water from a pozo and it actually just comes in a tap right inside of my house and uh, I did it for about $60, so I'll show you how that works. Um, this is just a 3 inch PVC, PVC pipe. You can do it with a 3 or 4 inch tube. This one costs $13 and it's 20 feet long and basically it just captures the water that runs off the zinc roof. Oh, it comes into this elbow and I uh, actually did this with a lot of parts. You could probably uh, fabricate something at home for a lot cheaper but just directs it into the tank and then Here's the tank, a 55 gallon barrel. Uh, I've set it up probably a little bit fancier than most people would actually need. So that I've got a tube that actually runs inside my house. And then I've got another faucet outside here. So I spent 60 to 65. You could probably even do it for closer to $50. But we'd have to check on prices. I don't know. So. Uh, and Dan, do you have to treat this water at all? Or is this water ready, ready, ready to drink? as rainwater, uh, safe to drink and... It's not going to have the same contam contaminants that you would have from something that's coming out of the ground. You're not going to have to worry about um, mammals and things like that, but you, what you do need to worry about are lizards and things like that that live on the roof and also bird poop that can run into it, um, things like salmonella, but as a whole it's a lot safer. You don't have the giardia, you don't have the worms that you have when you're drinking water from the ground, so uh, it should still be treated. But if it's not treated, it's still it's a lot safer than water coming out of the ground. Another potential problem that you, that we were thinking about when we designed these water tanks is uh, providing a, a breeding ground for mosquitoes, because dengue and potentially malaria uh, are around here. So uh, over the openings that aren't open and closable like the faucets are, I've got uh, basically just regular little mosquito netting and. So I've got one up here also to filter out leaves and things like that that might fall through. But the main purpose of this one is just to keep out bugs that may breed in there and pot uh, potentially carry dengue and things like that.
siempre a golpearnos la ventana Yo quiero un sol, yo quiero un sol que me acompañe Hablando siempre de frente, tirando todo lo malo